Welcome back. Now, digitalization is transforming the global logistics industry, perhaps more than many other sectors. Uh, it is the world's oldest and most global commercial sector, dominated by companies that have operated for decades using long-established supply chain models. Well, today, many of these companies have been forced to adopt new and innovative digital business models in order to retain their market positions. One such company is DHL, which, of course, has been at this game for over 50 years now. It is a global leader in logistics today, and it is tapping into the digital world. Well, let's get some more insight into how they're keeping up with digitalization. We're joined by Team Sharvat. He's the CEO of DHL Global Forwarding uh, and Freight. Great to have you on the show with us, uh, Tim. Now, of course, the reality for companies uh, like DHL is that uh, disruptive, disruptive technologies uh, are significantly changing the way traditional linear supply chain models have worked in the past. Now, give us a sense. How are traditional logistic companies like yours uh, adjusting to that reality? Well, first of all, good evening, Uche, and thank you for having me on your show. And you are totally right. We are seeing more and more tech companies trying to disrupt the way that we've worked in the past. And we've seen this for quite some years now. And for us, this has been also in a positive way a challenge because it also forces us as traditional freight forwarders to rethink the way that we are working. However, in today's time where we see also capacity being, being not so frequent as we had in the past, where we see equipment shortage on the air and ocean freight side, it's really important that we also understand how freight forwarding works and how we can make sure that a shipment which is stuck in a harbor somewhere in Asia can really be then really be shipped to the place of destination where it needs to go. So we believe that it's important to learn from these disruptive companies to make sure that the service we provide to our customers gets better as we develop as an entire organization. Mm. Now, an interesting co uh, question that is being asked is, have companies like DHL had to develop a new digital organization altogether or digitalize uh, an already traditional uh, organization? Give us some insight uh, into that and certainly the technologies that you are adopting to keep up. Well, my pleasure. We, can, we, we do this from two angles. On the one hand side, within the group, we have six, six centers of excellence, as we call them, where we have experts sitting together working on subjects like blockchain technology, APIs, data lakes, or Internet of Things. And they work on mostly projects which can be used in any one of our divisions. I'll give you the example that we use APIs, for example, to work very closely and very quickly for customer bookings. And especially more modern companies uh, use these kind of booking systems. That makes it very easy for them to talk up to us as a group. And we use these expertise from the central departments and work together with the ones in our responsibility. So in my part of the business, the traditional freight forwarding business, we have a digitalization department, which also manages the IT and interfaces into the major products being air freight, ocean freight, um, customs clearance and road freight. So we come from both angles to get expertise into our into close to our customers to make sure that they also sense that we are not just an old traditional company, but a company who's very capable of working with modern technologies. Mm. Well, let's refocus uh, on Africa. Uh, here in Africa right now, the marketplace for logistics uh, services, they've become quite competitive, uh, mostly via online portals. We're seeing many companies uh, uh, creating locally relevant applications. Now, where are you looking to invest on the continent going forward uh, in order to stay ahead in, that, in the game on the continent? Well, first of all, Africa for us is a very important continent. And this was the first continent also where we rolled out our brand new transport management system, which for freight forwarding is the backbone of any digital innovation that we can bring to our customers. So Africa was the first continent and the first regional organization also where we rolled this out. And because we know that visibility and transparency is so important for the countries within Africa, we also made sure that one of our platforms, which we named Saludu, which is a trucking FTL platform, has been released into 25 different countries or the 25 most important markets in Africa. We always say from Cairo to Cape Town, you can use Saludu. This is managed by our uh, by organizations in the different countries. What we also do next to the uh, digital part is that we also try to, with a program which we call Go Trade, 
<clears throat> is to make sure that smaller companies also get support and understanding how they can export into the world or import out of the world. Because we believe that next to technology and we believe that next to having great people running our organization, it's also important that we support our customers, maybe future customers, for them to really work in their environment and their, and their economy, e economies. <clears throat> 